Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channels, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is very simple. We'll be discussing multiple approaches uh, in this video. So problem is find the difference. Uh, we are given two strings, and uh, the string T is generated by randomly shuffling the string S characters. So and one more extra character is added in the string t so we have to return that letter which is the which is added in t so t will have all the other letters of string s but just the just the thing is that it will have one more extra character so here if you see in this test case here a, a b c d is there and a b c d is in the in t and e is a new letter which is added in string t so that is a new addition we have to return that so e we will return so very simple problem right um let's see the other test case also so over here initially string was empty and then y is added so y is the output and uh, we are given the length of the string 1000 so length of the string is 1000 so uh, we can use n square approach also so if we have n square approach that will also work right so let's see how we can how we can approach this problem right see um let's take this case test case only so we have a let's take we have string s is given to us and it is a b c d a b c d and t uh, string is given so i'm i'm bit shuffling the letters right i'm i'm bit shuffling so b c a d a e and d so this is string t so if you see all the letters of s are there in t a is there yes b is there b is there c is there and d is there right and one more extra character which is e is in t string so output will be the extra character which is e right so let's discuss the first approach first approach which we can use is that we can we just need to compare now we need to compare which is the extra character which is the extra character so what we can do is we can sort this string we can sort this string so we'll be sorting both the strings so this is already sorted so like this will be this this only and we will sort this one we will sort this one also so this one will be come a b c d e so we have sorted them and the last uh, and the here here the last character uh, here we will get uh, so so when we what we will do now is we will just compare we will just compare this string and this string so here this is same this is same this is same this is same and this string is done so this letter the last letter will be the extra one so we will return that we will return that so this is the one approach like this is one approach which we can use that is we will sort the strings both the strings and then we'll compare the letters and which one is the extra one that we will return so this is one approach that is sorting so the sorting time complexity for this will be n log n because we are doing sorting right n log n other approach see other approach now when generally we see this problem the first approach which comes into our mind is that we will use a hash map we will store all the characters and then we'll uh, just compare which one is the extra one right so we can do that so what we can do is we can ha use a hash map so hash map will be what see in hash map what we will do we will store all the characters of the string s this is a hash map which we have so we will ha have this hash map and in this we will be storing all the characters of uh, string s so a b c d and you can give anything here right then what we will be doing so here you have stored the letter and here you have showed the count and then we have this now so we will compare whether b is there b is there c is there c is there a is there a is there and e is not there right e is not there hence e is the extra character so just return it so this is one way we can use this hashing and we can use hash map and we can solve this problem so time complexity for that will be o of n but the space complexity since we are using this hash map 
so space complexity will be length of the string s so let's say it is n1 so it will be space complexity will be o of n1 right this is one approach now we have to we have to avoid using extra space we have to avoid using extra space so what we can do then see another approach which we can use here is that we can compare the c we are given letters right we are given letters so there is one benefit of having letters that we we know the sky values right of there are sky values of letters so if a is sky value is what 97 plus b is 98 plus c is 99 and d is what 100 so this will be some 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 let's say x now this t will have all these letters so b c a d these will have some x plus there will be some some like some uh, 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 some of this e so that's let's say y so this will be equal to right see so what we can what we can do is we can have the whole sum of this which is let's say y and if we do y minus if let's say this is x so y minus x so what we will get see b plus what is y y is what b plus c plus a plus e plus d this is y sum minus x sum is like all these characters which is a plus b plus c plus d right so see here there is one extra character na rest of the characters are same rest of the characters are same so sum what we can do is we can subtract this sum from this sum and we'll get the extra letter sum so a, a will be get cancelled c b b will get cancelled c we get get cancelled and d will get cancelled and we will get e so we can get, we can just return this we will get the correct we'll get that correct let's see the code for this for this approach so see what we are doing over here see we have this na just a second yeah see what we are doing is we uh, have taken two variables a to store sum of s and b to store sum of t so we are going to each letter in the string s and then we are just adding the sum then we are going to each character in string t and then we are adding to b and then b minus a we will do so that will give us the extra correct extra uh, letter uh, like uh, sky you can say or sum so that will return and it will be get converted to character so we'll get the correct extra character so this is one approach see we are using no extra space here just the variables are there so the time complexity for this approach see we are using no extra space so time uh, space complexity will be constant and time complexity will be we have two loops we have two loops na this one and this one so if uh, this s has n1 letters and t has n2 letters so it will be o of n1 plus n2 we have two loops we have two loops right and uh, there is one more approach which we can use this is optimize approach but there is one more approach which we can use see we have uh, this string na a b c d and the string t and string t is what it's uh, a let's take anything so e c d this we have right now what we can do is we can use zor we can use zor because in zor what is there if we have c if we have same uh, numbers a a and we take zor of that so we will get what zero zero get we'll get zero na that is what zor is what zero zero is a uh, zero zero one is one one zero is one and one one is zero na so if we have same see if we have same then we'll get the same we'll get zero for that if we have same we'll get zero for that so what we will do is we will take zor of Both all the characters of S and T, that is A or B, or C, or D, then or A, or B, or C, or D, 
सॉरी जोर सी ई एंड देन सी एंड देन जोर डी सो सी दिस ए जोर ए वी कैन रीअरेंज सो इन जोर वी कैन रीअरेंज दीज सो वी विल रीअरेंज एंड वी विल गेट ए जोर ए एंड बी जोर बी सो वी विल लाइक सेम वन वी विल ब्रिंग टूगेदर सो बी विल कम टू बी देन जोर सी C1 will come here. C, Zor D, Zor D and Zor E, like this. So these are same. These are same. So their Zor will be what zero. Then zero Zor. This will be also zero. This will be also zero. This will be also zero. And this will be E. Now zero Zor zero zero. So this will be what all zero Zor E. So zero Zor E. So what will happen? uh this will give, give us e only because anything will be z like zor 0 0 0 you are doing zor with like if you are doing something zor with zero so if there is one so one zor will uh, one zero will come what one only that letter will only come uh, that number will only come so zero zor e will be e only so in this way we will get the extra character we will we can do zor and the same one will cancel out and we will get the extra correct so let's see the approach for this uh, code for this so here what we are doing is we have taken this r variable and then we are going and doing zor of each letter in s and then each letter of t and then we can just return this r right this will be the extra letter so if you submit this getting accepted right so these were all the approaches so time complexity for this will be um, we are doing two traversals so again n1 plus n2 and space will be constant as we are not using any extra space right so i hope the video was helpful let me know in the comments if you have any doubt and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video